Epidemiologist Irene Peterson said yesterday that a move to a seven-day isolation period is a good idea. Clinical advisers for the UK government have also endorsed the move. And yesterday, we had a game-changing Scottish study on Omicron, one of the most detailed and promising studies to date. And it said the evidence shows that Omicron is substantially less likely to result in COVID-19 hospitalisation than Delta. It confirms that the booster dose offers substantial additional protection. Mm -hmm. And it suggests that, and I quote, the reduced severity may also have implications for isolation rules. First Minister, doesn't this report, just published last night, give us the basis to change the rules now and avoid the risk of threatening the viability of essential services and our economy? First Minister. I'll come on to the, the really encouraging uh, study that was uh, published yesterday in a moment. Um, and uh, that is important. But I also think it's important that we get the timing of all of this uh, right. Uh, Douglas Ross talked about uh, clinical advisors that he's quoted. He talked about the clinical advisors for the UK government. I'm not uh, dismissing the views of any of those, but I think most people would accept that the clinical advisors I have to listen most carefully to are the clinical advisors to the Scottish government. Um, and we are basing our very careful considerations on the advice that we are uh, being given. Um, and of course, that advice will continue to inform the difficult judgments that we take. On the study that was published yesterday, there were two studies published yesterday, one uh, the Scottish study and another uh, from Imperial College. They are really encouraging because they suggest that uh, the proportion of people with Omicron who are uh, requiring hospital care might be lower um, and the estimates are between 30 and 70 per cent uh, lower uh, risk of needing hospital care uh, than with previous strains. That is all really good. But where we are right now, the care we've got to take is that we don't allow the much higher transmissibility of Omicron to outweigh the benefits of perhaps its lower severity.